This is where we split up. She can't be too far away. So that's how it is. I never imagined we'd gather the remaining details here. <laughs> <laughs> to borrow Gallagher's catchphrase, what an unpredictable twist of fate. Himeko, here they are. Ah, perfect timing. Now that everyone's here, I'd like to introduce everyone to Micah, who's- It's a pleasure to meet the Nameless. You know us? I've been keeping an eye on you since the day you arrived in Penacony. We would have met under more appropriate circumstances if Dreamflux Reef hadn't been isolated from the Twelve Dreamscapes. <sighs> Please, allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Micah, the Gravekeeper of Dreamflux Reef. Gravekeeper? Life in Dreamflux Reef is pretty liberating. Everyone here mostly keeps to themselves, without meddling in others' affairs. My daily task involves cleaning a few tombstones. You're too modest, Micah. When lost dream chasers stumble upon this place, you're the one who takes care of them, guiding them back to the sweet dream, or showing them how to survive the wild dream chaos. So, a uh, guardian of sorts, hmm? Uh, were you talking to me, Mr. Yang? Mm hmm? <laughs> On that note, Mr. Mika, uh, which tombstones are you referring to? We didn't come across any graveyard when we arrived. <laughs> They're actually just symbolic stones. But since you're curious, Mr. Yang, I'll take you there. I have a feeling you might find something of interest there. Uh, but before that, you have an important guest joining you. This is the monument I mentioned earlier. The names inscribed on it should be familiar to all of you. Rosalina and Tiernan. When Penacony was known as a frontier prison, it was the trailblazers who connected it with the stars. They were the heroes who saved Astana, and their names deserve to be immortalized. Not just on this small stone tablet, but in the annals of history for all of time. However, Today, the planet of festivities is nothing but sweet dreams. That heavy piece of history is all a distant memory. Just like that prison. If their names are inscribed here, then that means... According to Micah, they died long ago. Rosalina was killed during the War of Independence. She ventured alone into the heart of the star system to investigate the flow of Memoria, but she never returned. Tiernan was a skilled gunslinger, strong and reliable. He led the people through countless battles, but he didn't live long enough to witness the arrival of true peace. In the decade following the war, Penacony faced challenges internal and external. To protect Asdana, Tiernan took up the way of the Trailblaze and led the Lantmoth family to explore beyond the system, only to be surrounded and wiped out by the swarm. Though I had expected as much, the tales of these heroes truly are sorrowful. True to the title of Trailblazer, they spent their lives venturing into the unknown. But what about this tablet? There are no names carved on it. When Dreamflux Reef was created, its owner was still alive. However, he insisted on erecting a monument for himself, saying that it will happen someday. Here we meet again. Everyone from the Astral Express. Robin. 